Hello, my name is Murat Özver and here is a new video about the uh, aerodynamics and the, uh, how it is affected by Hatra or the ball hands movement during release when you are shooting with thumb throw. And uh, as you might know I have been experimenting with uh, the uh, thumb release and the related aerodynamics for some time and uh, as you might remember from my previous videos that I have been uh, together with some uh, academics from the sports department in Haditch University and completed a, a research uh, which showed actually that two main types of Hatra uh, have uh, some effect on aerodynamics. However, I don't think that the purpose of Hatra is increasing speed. We had major research years ago uh, showing that the rigid thumbring increases the initial velocity of the arrow 6.4%. Uh, uh, and it makes uh, a calculated kinetic energy difference of approximately 12 point something percent. So it may make a difference in the battlefield, even such a slight increase in kinetic energy. But uh, the uh, Hatra, the executing of Hatra, uh, seems to have another purpose, uh, which is uh, controlling the arrow oscillation and the inner ballistics, so that uh, there will be a more stable flight a better penetration of the arrow, especially in short distances, and maybe a more uh, consistent flight as well. So you know, this is a short uh, research that we made with my friends and colleagues in Chirindas, uh, trying to show whether Hatra has any influence on the uh, arrow velocity. Here we tested two main types of Hatra, as we did with the uh, researchers in the uh, sports department. So, in this research, uh, we also uh, compared shooting without Hatra with these two main types of Hatra. Recently, there have been some videos on YouTube uh, about the Hatra or the ball hands movement during the release uh, when the archer shoots with thumb release. But, uh, some of these videos uh, are completely meaningless because uh, there are even videos in which the archer shoot from the left side of the ball by using the thumb release which is uh, completely contrary to the law of physics so uh, what we decided to do is uh, comparing the uh, two main types of hatra by using different types of arrows and bows uh, and uh, most uh, importantly uh, archers who are uh, experienced in thumb release and uh, have a consistent technique uh, with their draw length and with their release, they are consistent. In this uh, research, uh, the participants uh, are Harun, Hakan and Selim, the three uh, advanced and experienced archers of Tirendaz archers. The draw length of each archer have been measured by using an eastern uh, calibrated arrow. In this test, we are going to use three arrows with different uh, spine uh, values and different weights and two bows. One of them is a representative of the late Ottoman bow, which is a Grozer biocomposite. Uh, it's, uh, it pulls uh, 59 pounds at 28 inches and another bow. Uh, which is made by another Hungarian manufacturer, Istvan Todt. It's a 55 pounder uh, and represented, represents uh, the earlier Turkic ball, which has been used by Selçuks and the earlier uh, Turkic tribes. So these two types of bows uh, will uh, give us an idea what kind of uh, differences we may have uh, in the initial velocity of the arrow when we are using these two types of hatra. Come on.
What you are going to see in the video that uh, it is actually not uh, easy to hold the ball so steady and rigid during the release, and the ball uh, moves anyway, unintended, uh, even if you try to hold it steady. <laughs> Here you can see the results of the chronograph measurements of the total 11 shots of each archer. Uh, so uh, uh, total 33 shots have been executed. And here, Hatras is referred to a shot without any Hatra. Menluk Hatra is referred to a type of Hatra at which the bow is tilted forward. And Yan Hatra means uh, the type of Hatra with a rotational movement of the bow hand outwards during shot. So you can see that uh, the mean velocities that two of the three archers uh, achieved uh, is, slightly, is slightly higher when the shots are executed with any type of Hatra compared with shots with no Hatra. Except Harun, because Harun's uh, mean values for three type of shots uh, are very close to each other. And when you see uh, the distribution of the velocities for each archer, uh, Harun's uh, consistency or inconsistency for each type of shot can be seen here. And it seems so that the most inconsistent one was uh, the outward, uh, outward rotation of the ball, which makes sense because the regular technique of Harun is uh, the Memluk type of mantra, which is the uh, tilting of the ball forward. Here it's shown uh, with the red line and uh, as you ca can see uh, except two shots with uh, relatively low velocities the other shots have been executed with very consistent speed and uh, if it comes to Selim again the outward rotation of the ball uh, is the most inconsistent one in velocities and interesting, interestingly, the most consistent one was the uh, Memlukatra, or tilting the ball forward. Uh, so, uh, Hakan, the third archer who participated in the uh, in this test, uh, the most inconsistent one seems to be the red line, uh, which is actually the Memlukatra. Uh, uh, excuse me, the most inconsistent one, one was the uh, green one which is the outward rotation again and it makes sense again because, because Hakan's uh, uh, routine, the Hakan's uh, technique uh, is Memluk Hatra which uh, is shown here with the red line and uh, as you can see it is uh, more or less consistent, much more consistent than the other types of Hatra. So it makes sense that uh, it is also up to the archer uh, whether he or she is accustomed to a 
certain type of hatra or maybe accustomed to shooting without any hatra. Benim derdim herkesten çok. 